Hello! Once again, it's time for that old three shell game. This is an old classic. Uh, I'm just going to move the computer screen down here so this way you can see in relatively good detail what we're dealing with here. Do I have enough room? Should. Hang on. Okay, I guess it's only got a limited range. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to put these three shells right in plain view here. So one, one out by the far end, two here, and three here. Now what I have here is I have a standard what's called green P, okay? You can see that, I think? Sorry. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green P, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it under the middle shell here, okay? Good, so now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to start, remember, it's under the middle shell, so I'm going to start moving the shells around, okay? Now it should be on the right-hand side. So now I'm going to shift these two. So which shell is it back under? Let's do it one more time just to be safe, okay? There. So, where would it be? Well, if you were paying attention, and you were following exactly the concentric movements of the shells, you should know exactly which shell it's under. The middle one, right? Let's take a look. Oh, there's nothing under it. It gets better, though. See, I'm just going to move these three shells out just this way you can see them. Nothing under the middle one. But I snap my fingers, and there's nothing under either of the other two. See? There's no shell to be found anywhere. There's not one here on the table anywhere, and it's... Uh, not in my lap or anything like that. Here, I'll move the computer forward to see, so you can see. Here, let me move it back a little. And then, yeah, see? There's no shell in my lap or anything like that. The three shells were empty. So where did it go? And that's a, that's an old tactic, uh, an old con called the three shell game. The difference is I used it for magic by just simply making the P disappear. Now, in a lot of cases, what they do is that they end up... Um, now, the old uh, style game used to be where I would uh, do something like this, only except uh, you would never find the shell, and you would never find the P, and you'd bet, say, five, ten bucks on it, and then you go like, nah, I can get it the second time, you know, and then they go, nah, I want it, you know. So anyway, you know, after the first couple, you know, like, I'd, I'd let you, you know, then I'd let you win one, then I'd win one, and, you know, like, I'd, I'd win one, then I'd let you win one, so this way you think, like, ah, it's, you know, hey, this might be kind of easy, it's just a cherry game of luck. And then what I'd do is, if I did it a couple of times, I'd basically be able to con you or do it with a, a, a um, you know, like a mark to, uh, you know, with a, um, a, a rube to help me out here. Um, what I'd end up doing is I'd basically end up conning you out of a shitload of money um, by doing nothing but uh, pretending to do that. You'd be surprised. Now, for the final uh, bit of this trick, again, I'm just simply going to go right to the camera. Sorry. Oh, crap. So I've just got to focus. I've lost my mental power. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply go right to the camera and lo and behold the P was right in the camera the entire time. So I hope you enjoyed that trick. It's called the three shell game. Next trick, next uh, clip, elastic tricks.